is the day. This is the day that Obama made great. That Obama made great. Hey guys, Dan here. Um, and by now I'm sure all of y'all have seen the video of Chris Cuomo, CNN anchor, um, being viciously attacked verbally by some nasty conservative. Um, I hope you're happy, Trump. Um, I hope you're happy, conservatives. This right here is a perfect example of why you need to should have a license or some kind of background check before you have a cell phone. Because conservatives are constantly setting people up and trying to make them look bad. So I saw some nasty conservatives say, oh, this, what ha this is what it looks like when a snowflake melts. Excuse me, if I had a son, and I don't, but if I did... I would have want him to handle it the way he handled it. But let me just get down to brass tacks, okay? My partner, Justin, had a brilliant point. This is, and Kuma already tweeted this. This is what happens when there's not enough safe spaces at a fundraiser. See, this event was held at a fundraiser or some kind of like speech or whatever. And Kuma, when he got there, he said that he was looking around and there was not enough safe spaces for everyone there. So just like in mass shootings, rightfully so, we blame the NRA. But right now, I'm blaming whoever makes these events and does not. There was three porta potties there for the parking lot attendants, but no safe spaces for the brave people. Um, excuse me, America. How many more of these awful, what they call meltdowns, but what I call standing up for yourself. We're going to see more of these if we don't install more safe spaces. Like, enough's enough. I don't need your thoughts and prayers or your farts and queefs. I need action, Congress. Chris Cuomo went there to spread the truth about how nasty Trump is, and he's viciously attacked by some Glenn Beck, you know, wannabe conservative, who also called him, like, garlic stick or cheesy cheeks or whatever he called him. It was a slur, okay? First of all, it's not that brave to pick on someone, um that has overcome so much. You should see the tweets people say about him. They call him Snowflake, Liptard, um, all this stuff. So I'm surprised he's made it this long without standing up for himself. Bravo, Chris Kumo, you are brave. You're on the bravest network in America. So Americans, you need to join with me and say, enough's enough, Congress. We need more safe spaces now. This never would have happened. With background checks on, like, cell phones, people have been like, oh, I'm going to set up this liberal. Oh, crap, my phone don't work. Exactly, you suboxone strip cousin sniffing freak. It doesn't. Not enough safe spaces is the direct cause of what happened here, along with Trump's nasty rhetoric. So, I hope you're happy, conservatives. I hope you're happy. This should be a day of mourning. Stay away from our CNN anchors. Resist, Republicans.